Today, I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV with a bow and arrow controller. And y'all, this controller is awful, but in the best way possible. After starting the archer class at 3 in the morning, I couldn't help but come up with this bad idea. This is a really simple build. When you fire an arrow, it uses an ability in-game. For example, this arrow applies to DOT and it's as awkward to use as the archer class is in general. The worst and best part about this mod is that once you run out of arrows, you have to pick them back up to use your abilities again. I'm not gonna lie, but I spent way too long looking for my spent arrows in my room. My immersion? 100. My damage output? Uh, we're not going to talk about that. While I'm gathering my arrows and hurting my back at the same time, let's talk about the build. From far away, the bow controller looks pretty cool, right? Just, uh, don't judge me once you get a close-up because, ooh, this bow was cheap. Most of the controllers I make tend to hide the wiring pretty good or at least encase it pretty tight. For example, my Astrologian Dual Disc and Culinary Pizza controller look pretty professional as a product, but this off-brand Nerf toy couldn't handle any of my drilling, let alone hot glue. I legit had to use duct tape and zip ties to cover up the broken parts of the bow controller. The build itself uses an Arduino that has an accelerometer and touch sensors wired to it. To detect the arrow being fired, I made an algorithm that analyzed the gyroscope's values made by the force of the arrow being launched. Due to how this toy bow is designed, the data generated by the force of the arrow being shot is very easily picked up by the gyroscope. Originally, I thought about setting up a motion sensor box to catch the arrow in motion. However, this will require me to aim consistently, and the motion sensors that I have have a pretty small range. And y'all, this is how I aim in Valorant, so uh, I don't think the motion sensor idea would have panned out too great. To set what archer ability I use, I have a ton of motion sensors added to the quiver. With this setup, you always have to touch the motion sensor to grab the the arrow which will always queue up that ability. Once the queue is ready and the arrow is fired, my board sends a corresponding button press to Final Fantasy XIV. The Archer class doesn't really have rotation, so the system I made for the bow controller worked out great. And honestly, there's way more to the hardware than I said, but there are some huge missing features. For starters, I can't add a joystick for movement because the bow will literally fall apart if I did. Luckily for me, Pass Lewis has a Joy-Con mod that works with XIV, so we can solve the missing inputs really easily. Now it's time to really test this build and become Erosia's worst champion. And I have to apologize in advance to all my party members. Before I go off and try a dungeon, I first fought some mobs for some training. And y'all, I want y'all to hear how this bow controller sounds in action. It's so funny. Then we just heavy shot our way into victory. <laughs> And yo, reloading is so awkward, y'all. It's gonna get me got someday, huh? To wait out my DPS queue, I did a couple of fates and it was really fun to do with my controller. The immersion I got from fighting enemies by literally firing my arrows was well worth the time I spent working on this build. I even hit myself in the face like an amateur archer would do. <laughs> I just slapped myself in the face. I found out real quick I didn't do any damage, but luckily I had some teammates to carry me through. I'm not gonna lie, the cowboy hat didn't really help out, I really couldn't see anything in there. Now it's finally time for a leveling relay, and hey, we actually got a pretty easy dungeon today. I have a really simple plan, I load up my AoE arrows and I just spam it out. However, a tank must have been Vin Diesel because they were zooming across the map. I felt really dumb because I had to run for my life and pick up my arrows at the same time, it was kind of embarrassing. No guys, wait! I gotta pick up my arrows, wait! <laughs> I have to pick up my arrows. Wait, come back. Guys, wait. I gotta pick up my arrows. <laughs> Luckily, whenever we stopped running, I was able to do some archer things. I did find it kind of funny that after every mob fight, I had to stop and search the arena for my arrows. I eventually had to ditch the cowboy hat because I didn't realize you get really sweaty playing an archer. The rest of the dungeon was pretty much a breeze and a half. I was able to find my footing and I just spanned my AoE abilities without any issues. Sometimes I wonder what my party members were thinking about their archer, but Final Fantasy XIV has a really nice community and they were really chill about me taking my time. The boss fight was really silly because I legit ran out of arrows mid-fight. So after every shot, I had to scavenge my floor for any arrows. But after fumbling for a couple of minutes, we finally won and hey, my controller didn't break. The immersion was so great after the dungeon, my party members left me to pick up my arrows. This is why I could never become the Warrior of Light. This is way too much work. I won. Where's the other one? Overall, I really love this controller, and even though it's a dumb idea, it's my dumb idea. In the future, I definitely want to find a way to speed up the reloading phase, but for my first draft, this was great. If I had to give it a score, I would give it a Stormblood out of 10. I didn't like it at first, but it warmed up on me after playing it on stream. Until the next video, y'all, stay safe and pay your taxes. Peace.